right, so this is our Must Love Dogs demo site. We use it for all of our demos. And today we're talking about the membership account page. It's a page that gets generated in Paid Memberships Pro as part of your initial setup steps. And by default, this page, depending on if you're using the WordPress block editor or not, is just going to have either this short code or this block or the short code equivalent built into the page. So we see this as a page you can do a lot more with, and it really gets, you need to get thinking about it, thinking about your niche, thinking about your users, thinking about the valuable content you're delivering and what would be good stuff to put here, because this is the primary page members are redirected to when they complete login. So a member logs into your website, they're taken to this membership account page. So it can be more than just this kind of simple information about your account. By default, we kind of show what membership levels they have. If you're using multiple memberships per user, there might be more than one listed here for your member. This is my account, which is just maintenance and, and account related things, a history of their payments to you. And then there's a section called member links. Some of our add-ons hook into that, and I'm going to use it in my demo today too. So I'm going to start by just showing you a few ways that you can customize this page for any membership site type. So this is a the member light theme. We're using the block editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is modify this to have a sidebar. And these same customizations you can put into your invoices page, your billing page, other areas that people manage their memberships through. So the first thing I did, I just put two columns here. And in this column, I'm going to add our login widget or login, which also works when they already are logged in and can show some welcome message information. It'll show them a logout link and then it can show a menu in the sidebar there. So the most basic starting thing, I'm going to add a background color here and then we'll update them. We're going to be a lot of back and forth because this is a live demo to show you what we're doing. So that was the first change I made. It's still the membership account page. We haven't added too much detail here, but now we have this menu area that we can add some things to. So what kinds of things would we want to add here? Truly depending on your membership site type, let's say you have a special category of blog post or let's say you have a forum, or let's say you have a member directory, you can add some jumping off points to this sidebar. So for me, for this site, the menu that Paid Memberships Pro adds here, you can navigate to appearance menus. And then for this one, it's I'm using this member info. Yep, I think that's, no, no, login form, that's a different one. Widgets and menus get confusing. So this is the menu that's assigned to that location. You can see here, login widget PM Pro is that location we just added to the membership account page. So let's add some more things here. For example, this was set up before. I don't know if it's still active, but we have an affiliate set up. So if you had affiliates in your membership site and you wanted that membership account page to have a quick link to access their affiliate details, you could add that here. Let's see what else is interesting. You could add the membership billing page, which is the page where members update their billing information for their payment. So it just make that quickly accessible to your users. I don't think we want to add the cancel page. We don't really want that. We can add our contact us page. So an easy, quick place. So members always know how to contact you when they're in this area. And then let's add a few categories. So this site has a few premium levels. So it has this enhanced, beginner, professional, all this content. So we can add that here as well. We could even do it under, let's see, blog. Do we have a separate blog? All right. We could even add it like as that and then nest those categories within like this. So when we save this menu in this location, when we go back to our membership account page, it is to add menu items here. It's not the cutest looking page itself, but you get the idea of how you could add better navigation and jumping off places for this page. Another thing that we can do for this page, so that's setting up navigation. You could replicate this, like I said, edit your membership billing page, add the same dual column layout, add the same sidebar, and then you'd really create what would feel like a SaaS-like experience. So if you're ever logged into a tool like a portal, depending on your theme, you can really recreate that in WordPress, especially with the block editor pretty easily. So I'm back in my membership account page. What else can we do here? So this is the default membership account shortcode. I could toggle off specific sections. So let's say we didn't want the profile or the invoices section. We just want that memberships section at this part. And then within that, let's add another column. We'll do like a 50-50. And then here we'll add the, uh, let's do the profile section here, right? We'll link people to edit their profile. Oh, I don't want that one. I want the 
membership account page. Okay, PM Pro account profile edit. Okay, that's might be the one I want. Let me check. No, that's the actual form. We want the section of the account page there. Why am I not seeing it? All right, let's add the full one and we'll just toggle it on. So we'll add the profile section. So that gives people just a little bit better layout. Originally, we have just stacked it the whole way. Now we're starting to craft this a little bit. We're going to add this in one column and let's in the other column for this site. What do we want to add here? Let's add the member links and we'll show you how that one works. My account page full and we'll just show that member link section. Okay. And then within the last section, we'll add at the bottom is their invoices. So now we have two columns going. Their invoices are below. We have these two columns that show other data. So they can link over to edit their profile, change their password, log out, or they could do these member link locations like that. So the account sections that we're showing here, they don't have block settings, but the blocks themselves do. So at the column level, we could add some background colors to things just to give it some definition if you wanted to. I don't know what this is going to look like. You'll have to play with your theme to see what it looks like, but you can highlight different areas and showcase and highlight things that are more important or less important in this section. I'll talk about the member links for briefly. I'm trying to stay general into any use case, and then we're going to dig into a few specific ones. So this member link section is built into Paid Memberships Pro. Specific add-ons add things to it. And then for this site specifically, I set up a little bit of a code snippet, which we can share in after the event to their nav menu location and put it in there. So just makes it a little bit easier. Once you have a nav menu location registered, you can customize the links in a better way with WordPress. So we'll get this code shared to you and I'll show you where this menu is now. So this is my member links menu location. So I also added a few different jumping off points here. So it's showing up within the membership account page. I put this affiliate report here. Membership card is another feature. Some membership sites want quick access to that from the account page. People log in and they need to quickly access maybe a membership card that has a QR code they scan like at a gym or just some other reason they need to quickly validate their proof of membership. So that's the general overview of adding navigation to the membership account page. Now we're going to dig into adding sections depending on your use case. So one of the most popular use cases for membership sites is courses. So let's get back to editing this page. I'm going to remove all the stuff I did here. What's the easiest way to do that? Let's get rid of that column. I like to go this way. All right, we'll put this one at the back at the top and get rid of that. Okay. Get rid of these columns. Okay, so we're back to what we started with here. So let's say your membership site is course driven and you want people from their membership account page to have a quick way to access the courses that are part of their membership site. So again, depending on what course platform you're using, this will vary. I'm going to just use the really simple default module of our courses for membership add-on. If you're using this courses for membership add-on with another LMS like Lifter LMS or Sensei or Tutor LMS, you can do the same thing. You'll just need to find their short codes for the equivalent thing. I set up some courses earlier so that we could showcase this. I want to insert after. So the default module of the courses comes with a few built-in blocks and one is called My Courses. So if we insert that on the membership account page, and then we view it, it's going to pull in all the courses that this member has access to right at the bottom there. So really creating easy navigation, get people to get to the thing they need, your course section of your website, right from that page. Um, I highly recommend thinking that way. If you're doing anything like a protected content, don't make it hard for people to find it. Make it very easy because the more they get ingrained in that valuable content you're delivering, the more likely they'll be like, oh yeah, Next time that monthly payment rolls around, they won't be doubting the value of your stuff. So for a course type site, you could do that. It doesn't look so cute. So let's try to make it a little cuter. Again, I like to make things columns if we can, especially for larger screens. These columns by the core WordPress block editor will collapse automatically for responsive screens. So you don't have to think too much about that when you're building with these default columns. What did I do? I'm going to put a little background on this. Just like before, let's make it a color. Okay. Now we, rather than having that kind of buried at the bottom, now we have those courses like front and center, quick access for people. 
they log in, they go to their membership account page and they can jump right into the course and start taking your course. So that's pretty popular for the course use case. Another use case we support a lot is like a community type feature. So I set up BB Press in this demo site. And BB Press has its own short codes built in. So we can talk about a few of those. This is like BB Press's forums and topics and interaction through threaded things. With membership sites, you can protect access to those forums. So only members can comment and participate in forum things. So BB Press comes with loads of short codes by default. I think what I'll pull in is there was like a recent, I think. Displays the 15 most recent topics. Okay, so let's pull that one in. This might look a little strange, but we'll see what it is. I don't really want to put it in the sidebar there. I'm going to insert it after this one. Yeah, okay. So that's the short code block. I'll just paste that one in as is. We probably want to put a heading here and say like recent topics from the forum, just so people know what the heck we're talking about here. And then I'm going to turn off some of these sections. So we'll just have a page that at the very top of it shows that my memberships recap, and then it jumps people to recent topics from the forums. So they can quickly see, yeah, my membership's active. I'm good. It's not expiring. I don't have a billing payment amount due, which would show up here. And then I can see, oh yeah, I want to dive back into that conversation and click right through to it from their membership account page. Super popular. What other short codes are interesting here? I guess you can have like my replies so it could help somebody see their specific participation in your forum if you wanted to do that. You could show like a single forum or a single topic. So if you have forums, lots of different forums, but only specific ones apply to this user and this membership level, you could drill into that specific forum here and not show like kind of everything across the whole forum. Just show that focused members only aspect of the site. So Lots of different short codes with BB Press that you can leverage for that piece of things, which probably leads into a good time to talk about that this page, you can also use the membership required short code. So just protecting content in a poster page that you can do at the page level, you can also insert this short code or this block that wraps content for certain members only. So the membership account page is seen by all users of all membership levels. But if you wanna show specific content just for one level of people, this is a great way to do it using the membership required. So let's say this forum piece we just had here, it's not something that all users of our site can access. It's only something for our most premium level of members. So you could on the account page, insert that membership required block, set a requirement for it, and then put specific content that only those people can see. So I don't know what membership level I have but I'm going to refresh. So I can't see it. I'm not the right membership level. Let me change my account quick and then we'll show how that shows up for me. What was it? Professional? Let's see. All right. So I'm the admin. Let's view this page. So now I do see it now because I have the right membership access. So that's a pro move to think that deeply about the membership account page and showing specific things to different people, but it really will give you the right uh, experience for your members. You could, if you had free members on your site, you could put an upsell that only the free members would see on the account page. So you can make it work as part of your sales funnel for you. And then not showing things to people that you really don't want them to see, or that would just return like a no access kind of thing. All right. What's another cool, I have a few pulled up here. Another cool one and a use case we support is um, just like a general premium content site. So it might not be a specifically a course, but let's say you're blogging premium things. People pay a monthly subscription, an annual subscription to access that premium content you're publishing. You might have tons of content, right? A cool feature to put on the membership account page is a list of like bookmarked pages or posts on your site that your users found. So a plugin I like for this, oh, let me update that. All right. A plugin I like for this is called Favorites. I have to add it to this site, so let's see. We have a tutorial on our site for conditionally adding the ability to favorite things to members only. But for this case, I'm just gonna activate it for everyone. And then we're gonna go favorite a few things so that the feature, oh, that's a members only post. I need a public post. Okay, so here's a blog post. I can favorite this, I'm logged in. That I love that article you have about dogs. Let's see if this one too. 
I'll favorite this also. So I'm a user, I'm a member, I favorited a couple things. Let's show people what they favorited so they can jump back into it. You're publishing tons of premium content. Uh, people find certain things that resonate more with them or things they want to come back to. So I'll just double check. I think it's called user favorites. Yeah. So let's see. I'll call it like my bookmarks or something like that. Let's see if this works. Eight. Cool. So those are those two posts that I favorited for my user account. That'll be dynamically created for any member of your site. So if they have their own unique section of posts they favorited, if nothing shows up there, you could also put a link back to access the premium content right below it. You're giving people a library of their favorite things and making that like an easy jumping off point to save their favorite stuff. So I like that use case for a premium blog, premium content site. Talk about courses. Another popular one, let's go here. We support a lot of sites that are like a directory or why can't I move you out of here? I just want you not in a column. Here, let's try this. Insert before. Okay, now can I try? I want you up here. Okay, cool. There. Okay, so another site is like a directory, and this is also a common feature for an association website. This is an example of our member directory add-on. So what would we want on the membership account page here? I think you'd want people to have a way to go edit their profile from their page. So the link to the page, I think if you just don't put somebody there, it'll take me to the account page. I thought we could link directly to their profile. Let's see. Oh, we would want to link to the editing, the, editing their profile fields. So let's edit our membership account page. So we're a directory site. We want people to edit their profile to manage their directory listing. Let's insert after. So let's say I'll add another couple columns and we'll call this one my profile listing. And I'm gonna add, I'll just make it a link right now. Okay, edit my profile, view all profiles. I wanted to make it a list there, that's better. Okay. So the view all profiles is gonna go to our directory and the edit my profile, oops, hold on. It's gonna go to, let's find the page. Um, that one, okay. That's gonna go to that link. So edit my profile, view all profiles. So that's showing them you're part of a directory. I'm gonna, I'll make the column have a background color. I should have had the paler gray pre-saved so I don't have to keep doing that. But anyway, okay. And then let's see, update it. So people can quickly go edit their profile fields, what's publicly shown about them on the site, or they could go view the directory and in a, interact with other members on the site or interact with other companies, whatever your directory is really showing. And then what's really popular for this use case is letting people set an avatar and manage that. So I'm gonna put, I have this already installed, the basic user avatars plugin. So I'll put that in like the second column there. So from the account page, they can access their profile stuff right away and then they can manage and modify their profile account for that listing. So you could add that of course to this individual page, but giving people that reminder right there that this is community type features. So seeing that you can edit an avatar, seeing this listing thing, create that mindset for your users. So those are the, those are good. All right. I feel like that's all I want to do for this demo. We want to get to some questions. So we just adding like a course list of the courses someone can access, customizing the navigation on the account page. So people have more jumping off points. We added like a digest of the forums. We added some like favoriting and bookmarking, and then some reminders about it being a directory and those features. So Let's get your brain going and thinking about how to craft that account page a little bit.